Hello guys, simulate and trade here. GME woke up to news that should have broken the chart and plummeted the price for the short term. However, what we got instead was a show of force unlike anything I have ever seen in any other stock. As such, when it comes to predicting the movements and overall possibilities of GME, we must use a different approach. We will quickly recap what happened today that led to this early day dip, how the media influenced fear and once again tried to manipulate investors into selling, how the stock performed and what we can expect moving into tomorrow. It will be a brief video and very to the point, and as such I only ask for you to drop a like and subscribe if you find this type of content useful. GameStop woke up to headlines that caught everyone by surprise. The video game retailer announced that it seeks to sell over 3 million shares to the public in an attempt to raise cash to fund its business model transition. It would be the first time we see GameStop taking advantage of the rise of its stock to fill its pockets. However, it was the media frenzy that really oversold on fear, as is fashionable these days. Through clever wording that suits to make the GME news apocalyptic to investors, the media was not shy to bask in the clickbait articles. As they dying medium they are, this honestly comes as no surprise. However, and this is the part that bothers me, the media did not retract the statements of shares falling when GME pulled a 180 with new investors taking advantage of the discounted price to bring it up back to where it was. Journalists were incredibly silent to update their articles or publish new ones on the new developments of the price, and this is why I cannot stress enough that nobody should be using media sources as legitimate advice of what to buy or sell. They do not provide adequate information because it is not in their convenience to do so. The news from GameStop's new public sell-off are not going to affect the squeeze, and will not kill the movement as it was directly implied. In fact, it can only help GameStop. If the price drops a bit over time, it will be the green light for new investors to get in at a cheaper level. If the price doesn't dip, then everything keeps moving as usual. This stock sell-off cannot destroy the impending squeeze that is looming over the horizon because it is not strong enough to cause people to sell out. As such, we move forward into talking about today's price action to have a better sense of where it might go next week. After the bullish wave, the price dropped a bit back to 183 where it has been consolidating. Considering this level is above the BWAP, it projects a bullish performance. Considering the buy and sell walls from the 183 to 189, we can conclude that GME is in a channel. What will determine tomorrow's performance will be where the price leans more. If it is leaning more towards the 189 in today's after hours, we can conclude that tomorrow pre-market we might see another run to 196. If the price starts touching that 183 wall for too long it could indicate another dip that will drop to 179 due to it being a previous resistance wall and the fact that it also happens to be where the BWAP is located. Guys, do not lost hope. Today was a great show of force that the stock is all but manipulated. That drop was bought big time and the fact it rose exactly to where it was shows that the only reason this stock is down is through hedge fund manipulation. Keep holding and buy the dips. Our goal this week to maintain these levels as much as possible. Stay bullish, and don't give in to temptations through fear. And with that, I want to thank you for sticking around. Dropping a like and subscribing will be much appreciated as the channel aims to inform traders as much as possible to give you guys the best content. I will soon start covering other stocks as well so stay tuned for that, and see you guys on the next one.